Welcome to another high voltage demonstration. Today I went out with my scooter and I went to the dump and I came across a whole bunch of microwave ovens. So I salvaged a bunch of high voltage diodes like you see right here. Now I didn't realize these diodes right here, I thought they were rated around three or 4,000 volts. They're actually rated 12,000 volts each and 350 milliamps or 0 0.350 amps. And I was very surprised to find that out because it's a very good way to get your hands on some high voltage diodes if you'd like to make some voltage multiplying circuits. So just keep that in mind if you're looking to do a cascade multiplier or any other kind of a multiplier or high voltage circuit, just go look for some microwave ovens and you can grab these 12,000 volt diodes. While I was at the dump, I also came across an LCD TV and I tore that thing apart and I found a whole bunch of five picofarad, six kilovolt, 6,000 volt capacitors. These can also come in handy for cascade multipliers as well. So if you're looking for high voltage capacitors or very high voltage diodes, just be sure to look in your microwave ovens as well as your television sets, primarily your LCDs. I'm pretty sure the plasma TVs would also have these. Now a while back I uploaded a video how to make this flyback driver. This was from Scrap 2, this whole circuit. Scrap aluminum, scrap transistors. This was from an old inverter I found and this was from an old television. You can refer to that video. The link is right here. In that video I gave a quick demonstration of how well the flyback driver worked but I didn't give an actual voltage reading of what I thought the voltage was on this high voltage lead going out and I was just estimating 20 or 30,000 volts and I forgot I actually had a tester that can verify what the voltage is. I'm going to show you right here. This is designed for use with gas engines and what it does, you extend this antenna and when you extend it, you hook this onto your spark plug wire like so. Once it's hooked onto the spark, spark plug wire, you will get a readout right here. If I click peak, that's peak voltage and it'll tell me 20.0 and what that would be is 20 kilovolts. The reason why this type of a device comes in so handy is because you can actually clip this on the spark plug wire close to where the spark plug is in the engine and you could take voltage readings. If you see one plug is much higher voltage than the other, that'll alert you that either the gap is too wide or there is a problem in the wire. You can also drag the clip over the wire and look for spots where the voltage is not crossing or it might be 5,000 volts here but 20,000 volts there you know there's a flaw in the wire. So there's a lot of excellent uses for this type of a device. It also has a tachometer function. You push tachometer, you choose how many cylinders, less well, cycles. Right now you choose how many cylinders, it does 1 through 12 which is amazing. On my scooter I would leave it at 1 that's two cycle or four cycle engine. And then you would bring the end of the wire, actually the end of the antenna. You would bring that near the ignition system on the scooter or any other engine. It could be by your distributor on your car or near the spark plug wires. And you could hold it maybe eight inches away or a foot and it'll give you an exact reading of the RPMs of your engine all the way up to 20,000 RPMs. So this is a pretty incredible device and it was pretty expensive when I purchased it from Matco Tools. It was around $200. You can buy them now for probably $140, $150. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to power up the circuit that you see right here. Get the arc going between the high voltage wire and the ground. And I'm going to clip this onto the high voltage lead and I'm going to give you a voltage reading. And we're going to observe what the voltage is. All right, let me power it up and I'm going to grab the meter, see what kind of a peak voltage we can get. All right, let's turn this on. 
clip this over the wire without getting fried. Twenty six thousand. Thirty seven thousand peak. Twenty five thousand. Thirty eight thousand. So we're getting as high as around 38,000. Look at this frying that wire over there. Look at that. 38,000 volt peak. And I think my meter maxes out around 40. Yeah, unplug this. Frying that insulation. I just figured I'd show you that's pretty neat. Forgot I had this. Good way to check up to 40,000 volts without having to actually connect to it with a wire. You have the safety of a plastic clip. If you enjoyed this video, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also, be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.